Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Rin's Vegan Life. A couple weeks ago, I made an update video and I kind of shared with you guys a little bit about my pregnancy and a overview of 2018. So now I am here to give you guys a 20 week pregnancy update and what has been going on with this pregnancy. This is my first vegan pregnancy. I went vegan 20 weeks into my second pregnancy. Um, so I had a half vegan pregnancy with my second child and now with my third child I am having a full vegan pregnancy. So I'm super excited about that and I'm excited to bring you guys along with me on this journey. So I was really hoping to overpass morning sickness since this is a vegan pregnancy and I just thought since my diet was completely different then maybe my pregnancy will be completely different too and it turns out it wasn't that much different um, I still got sick so let me tell you the story I got pregnant in September of 2018 and I found out on October 5th and that was the day before my husband's birthday. So on my husband's birthday, we always do breakfast in bed and I gave my husband and my kids the big news and we were all so, so, so excited. Um, Travis kind of knew that I was pregnant just by the way I was delivering the surprise. So, I was, I told the kids to all come sit by daddy and that I have a present for the whole family and he was like, oh, are you pregnant? And so I gave him a, a present with the pregnancy test and um, yeah, we were, we were all really excited. I, I'm going to um, share with you guys a lot of pictures and video. You are distracting me. So like I said in my last video, um, after I got pregnant, I assumed I was going to get sick, although I was hoping I wasn't, but Travis and I went through this big purging phase, um, and so I knew I had at least a couple weeks because with my previous pregnancies, I got sick at six weeks pregnant, and so I knew I had until about six weeks to purge and get rid and donate whatever I wanted in my house. So I actually got sick at five weeks pregnant. So it was about a week earlier than I was expecting. And I remember it was on a Sunday because we went to church and everyone's like, hey, how are you? And I really couldn't lie. It's really hard to lie about how you're feeling when you have morning sickness. So I just told everybody, I don't know, I just woke up and now I'm feeling kind of sick today and um, I wasn't sure what it was, if it was the beginning of morning sickness or whatever, it was the first day that I felt nauseous because I had been feeling great the past couple weeks. I had maybe two weeks, if that, of feeling great knowing I was pregnant. Um, and so on, like during the fifth week on a Sunday, that's when it really hit me. And I remember for the rest of the day after church, I didn't want to eat. Um, I told Travis finally that night after a whole day of not eating to get me some saltines and I tried eating those. I really didn't want to eat, but I knew the more, the longer I didn't eat, the more nauseous I was going to get. And my husband was telling me the same thing. Like you're going to get more nauseous if you continue to starve yourself. So I was like, I'm not in the mood for anything. Um, just get me some saltines and I think I'll be able to tolerate those. So he did and that's pretty much all I ate for maybe like two days. I didn't know what to eat. I wasn't in the mood for anything. So it was definitely hard. I didn't, I really literally did not feel like eating anything. And that was so hard because I love food and I love cooking and baking and eating and I love fruit, I love salads, I love smoothies, and when I got sick, I didn't want any fruits or vegetables. Um, pretty much the entire time I was sick, all I wanted was white bread and sugar and just sweets. I knew I couldn't stomach fruit 
And that was true in my other two pregnancies too. Like when I get sick, I cannot stomach coffee. I mean, the first thing, I cannot even stand the smell of coffee when I get sick. And then um, also fruit, unfortunately, which really stinks because I love fruit. <laughs> so very shortly after I got nauseous, I got strep throat and that was terrible. I don't know how I endured that. I don't know how I got through that with two kids. I knew I had a temperature. Um, I was, I had the, I was freezing cold all the time, um, but I was, my body physically was really hot. And so I would get in a hot bath and then I would get a robe on and I would just like bundle up under like five different comforters on my bed. My throat felt like every time I swallowed, I was swallowing glass and it, it hurt so bad. I got up in the middle of the night several times just to drink water because my throat was so dry. And you guys, I don't, I cannot believe I haven't made videos on this, but I am very stubborn when it comes to going to the doctor or taking medicine. I haven't taken a pill or any type of medicine, um, whether it it's oral or topical. I haven't had any type of medicine for almost five years now. And so I'm very, very hard headed when it comes to getting sick and going to the doctor. I don't like it and I always wanna find natural remedies. And I like feeling like my body can fight something on its own. So that's what I did even with this strep throat. I remember it was very, very difficult because I'm not only on top of morning sickness, I was, I had a fever, I had strep throat, and um, my husband was still going to work, and so it was just me and the kids. I had absolutely no help at all with my kids, so we had a lot of movie time during the day, that's for sure. Um, I was basically just hung up on the couch unless they needed to use the restroom or eat. And those were the only times I would get up to help them. And during this time, um, they really learned how to play together, which was so cool to see because they knew mommy wasn't getting up. Um, I wasn't going to do anything with them. And they're used to me being really involved and figuring out like ways to play with them, taking them outside, taking them to do things and I couldn't I literally couldn't and so they learned how to just go play and play together and play nicely and get along I did it last time we oh 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 I okay got this. oh good job oh thank you <laughs> so Carson he figured this out all by himself okay you video your brother you have to hold it like this now point it at him, like that, yep. Now, I'm very, very sick and nauseous, so I was laying down and all of a sudden he said, I'm in the circus, and I was like, oh boy, what is he doing? So I come out and he figured out a way to connect these, the yoga swing, and uh, he was singing on it, and he started pushing Jocelyn. Look at me! Point, point it at I remember thinking that this was really cool to see and it was a huge blessing too because they that was kind of their only option and I needed to rest and I really couldn't get up. I was just so sick, so nauseous. I was just on the couch with blankets and a robe trying to get better. Thank God for my husband. He really did a lot of cooking and cleaning around the house. He made dinner for the kids and it was a really, really tough time because he was already tired from working and he had to come home and then do everything that I usually do around the house. And so we just, I, I look back and sometimes I don't know how we get through things that we get through, but you know, God gives us the strength. I don't know, as, as a mom, I feel like God gives us so much grace just with everything i mean from being able to get through really hard situations like 
when you're sick and you still have lives to take care of, how we can get through that. That amazes me. And then giving birth and um, being frustrated with your kids one day and then waking up and it being a completely new day. Like it's, it's so crazy. And just the love we have for our kids, even though we might have had a really rough day before. I mean, it's just, it's amazing how our strength is always renewed. And I feel super loved because of that. All right, Carson, show me some cool Ghostbuster moves. Whoa, that's awesome. Woo! Oh man! What else does Ghostbusters do? Oh my! That's awesome! That's a cool move. But as I was walking through it, I was really missing my mom because it sucks to know that like she would be there taking care of me, but she lives in a different state. And I remember just crying to Travis like, oh, I miss my mom. But we did get through it and I'm so thankful for that. to eat or I was going to be even sicker. So it was so hard to get up and make food, but once I ate, it helped me feel a little bit better, like I wasn't going to throw up at any second. And I wasn't throwing up every single day. I was just extremely, extremely nauseous. So I, I was able to keep my liquids down and my, and my food down. Um, there were, like, I did throw up a few times a week, especially in the car. So pretty much my, I do get car sick already, um, but then being in the car with morning sickness, um, was not a good combination. I, I got so sick almost anytime we had to drive somewhere longer than 20 minutes. So there was like two times that Travis had to pull over on my way to my in-laws house and I didn't want to like throw up at their house so I made Travis pull over um, before we got there and I just throw up on the side of the road yeah and then there was one time where Travis couldn't pull over and I had to throw up immediately so I literally threw up, I just had to stick my head outside the car and it was so embarrassing because even like as we were turning in an intersection, I was throwing up profusely. Like as I feel like everybody was staring at me and it was, it got all over the side of the car and all over the street and oh my gosh, it was awful. Like <laughs> my friends were, were laughing because they other people were probably thinking like someone was driving home a drunk person or whatever but nope it was just a pregnant mama with morning sickness so i i tried to eat as often as i could um but i had i couldn't eat like right before we were gonna get in the car because that was a disaster but it was so hard because i needed to eat often but i would like wake up and eat something for breakfast and then lay down and if i lost track of time I would, I would look at the clock and it would be 1 p.m. and I still haven't eaten anything since breakfast and so it was extremely hard for me to get up and so I would like almost crawl to the kitchen. I mean, I didn't crawl but I was like really hunched over walking very slowly to the kitchen to try and like get something in my body even though I wasn't in the mood to eat anything. Like, it was a very, very hard time. Now, looking back, I remember being sick 24 seven, but I did have some good days that I was able just to power through and um, like do stuff with my kids and, and make something like, even 
I made a video on um, peanut butter banana ice cream and I was really nauseous during that video and I just was able to kind of put a smile on my face and still um, eat and still do stuff. So I had like good days and bad days. So I was sick all the way through Thanksgiving. Um, my mom and sister came down for Thanksgiving and I, I remember just powering through the sickness to do stuff with my family. I was definitely feeling a lot better then during Thanksgiving than I was when I first got sick, um, but I was still nauseous 24-7. Um, but I, was, I wasn't so nauseous to where I couldn't get up off the couch. So I could, start, I could see it starting to get a little bit better. I was expecting the sickness to end around 17 to 18 weeks, but it actually, Start, it actually completely ended around 14 weeks. So that was really cool. I had like a month less of sickness than I did with my previous two pregnancies. And then after 14 weeks, I started eating healthier again and getting my energy back again. It was really amazing. I thought I was gonna be sick through Christmas and nope, I wasn't. I was able to have a normal Christmas. It was so nice to start feeling um, better again and getting back to just being myself, even though I still don't feel like I'm back to my normal 100% happy self. Um, but I have been doing a lot of stretching and a lot of dancing around the house, which dancing is so healing for me. I love turning on music and just moving my body and that really gets me in a better mood. Um, so I've been doing that a lot with the combination of eating a little bit healthier, not just white bread and sugar. Although I didn't just eat white bread and sugar. I did have a lot of sweet potato and avocado, um, but for the most part, I just wanted to eat like bread. So I did have like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches on French bread and that helped because there's protein in the peanut butter. So my hips have definitely been hurting. Um, just not like excruciating pain or anything, just like it just makes me want to stretch. So I'm stretching a lot. I'm definitely stretching on a daily basis, no matter where I am. I, if my hips start hurting, I will like stretch them out. So just like leaning forward, um, like over a counter and like stretching out my back and then the back part of my legs helps a lot. Sitting in a butterfly position helps a lot. I will stretch in the middle of the grocery store because walking around the grocery store doing our weekly groceries, my hips will hurt. And so I will do some stretches in the grocery store. I mean, I just crave stretching and it really helps. It feels so good. I started feeling the baby move at 17 weeks and that was really, really nice to finally enter into that part of my pregnancy because that's my favorite part. I love feeling the baby move and now I feel the baby move on a daily basis and I just love it. I'm definitely not gonna find out the gender of this pregnancy. We're going to wait until birth just because I want to have that experience because I found out with my other two, but now I have everything I need for a boy and everything I need for a girl. So we're totally good there. And I'm really looking forward to that big surprise because I've never experienced that before. So now the only downside that I am feeling is getting tired around one to two o'clock every single day. I just feel, well, not every day, but a lot of days I get really tired around two. And so I will put on a movie for my kids and just lay on the couch and take a nap. And they, they'll watch their movie and you know, a lot of times they're jumping on me and poking and prodding me, but hey, it's, it's rest and that helps a lot.
And then the other negative thing that I'm experiencing sometimes are headaches. And I've gotten like a few headaches throughout this pregnancy and I think it has a lot to do with not drinking enough water. So I definitely need to get some more water in. So I am planning on having a home birth. I had a home birth with both of my kids. My first one I gave birth to in my one bedroom apartment in Colorado and then my second I gave birth right here in this room. Um, and yeah, they were both very different experiences, um, but both very good experiences. My second one definitely better than my first one. And I have both of those birth stories um, on my channel, and so I will link those down in the description box below. So that is my full pregnancy update for you guys. I'm going to be 21 weeks tomorrow, and things are going really well. I have been moving my body on a daily basis and stretching on a daily basis. I've been playing with my kids more. Um, we've been doing lots of different kinds of homeschool stuff and they are super excited for this baby. Um, they just are always kissing my belly, hugging my belly, cuddling with my belly, um, wanting to feel the baby move. And so I'm really excited when the baby gets bigger the way they can really feel those kicks. Um, but I'm excited. I have like three videos recorded that I am going to share with you guys now that this pregnancy update is out. I wanted to share this with you guys before I move on. I'm planning on doing lots of vlogs and vlogs are definitely the easiest videos for me to make because I have two toddlers who are very, very loud. So for me to make like a recipe video where I need them to be quiet, it's just too stressful. And then I end up getting upset with my kids for not being quiet and like no one needs that, okay? I'm not making these videos to get upset with my kids. So to make videos that just show what we're already doing and show real life that my kids are rowdy and they're loud and they don't let me talk to the camera. They're gonna talk to me as I am talking to the camera. Like that is real life. So um, I'm excited to make vlogs and show you like our dance parties and kind of like how I'm stretching and what I'm eating. Um, so I'm really excited. Plus we are going to make a body butter for my belly and I'm going to show you guys how they do it. Um, I have made a body butter with both of my previous pregnancies and I think it really helps. It helps from being itchy and it helps with stretch marks and I use it um, for prenatal and postnatal um, lotion. There's a lot I want to share with you guys and it's just about sitting down and actually filming the video. So um, there's lots to come and I hope you can subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. So now to wrap up this video, I just want to show you guys my 20 week bump. I love my belly and um, I love all pregnant bellies, honestly. And um, yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, does it make you upset if to if like I touch your belly? And I'm like, uh, no, please do. It's awesome. So here is my 20 week bump. And yes, I'm wearing my husband's underwear. It's they're nice and big and comfy. So um, yeah, here we go. There's a baby in there, and I am feeling kicks very, very low still. So all the movement I've been feeling is like really low, like right here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please hit that thumbs up button if you liked it and want to see more pregnancy updates. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Was beautiful. Winkle, winkle, let's get started. I can winkle, let's get started every night.
Twinkle, twinkle, little star.